Last night, if you were out and about, you noticed that our sunset had a little extra to it, and that's just what Greg was able to snap here with this picture. This is of that smoky Catawba Island sunset that we were able to look at last evening. So if you were out and about, you probably noticed that the sun kind of had a little bit of a red hue to that. And there's a reason for it. There's wildfires that we have in Western Canada and these wildfires, though they are a ways from us, they are influencing our weather and also our sunsets at night. So with our winds going from west to east, you're going to actually find that that smoke or even those dust particles that are high up in the atmosphere, we're not able to breathe them in, but they can still travel quite a distance being that high up in the atmosphere. We had a cold front also from Canada dip a little bit further south last evening and that allowed for then that smoke to get close to our path as far as that upper air, meaning that we had that smoke high up in the atmosphere and that caused well that red sunset. So the science behind it, you are going to find that it actually goes down to some basics as far as well what we would anticipate. So you have the sun, it was kind of still more that golden color, but as it started to sink in the skies, while well, it's emitting light, of course, that sunlight that we have. So when it starts to fall, you're going to notice that the wavelengths of that light, it becomes a little bit longer and even longer yet. So that's how we went from that golden bright color to then that red color out into the skies. And it's all because of the way that our eyes receive that light. So when we look at the color scale, the wavelength of that light that's coming off of the sun, well, the smoke, it kind of blocks out some of those shorter wavelengths, but even when it's short, we're still kind of into those yellow colors, but the longer it gets, well, then we get closer to those reds, those fuchsia colors, and that means that our eyes, when they see that sunlight, it perceives that the sun kind of has that red color. Now we do have the chance to see a little bit of smoke still into our skies this evening, so make sure you head out around 8.50 p.m. and or well a little bit before that and make sure you can see if we have still yet a little bit of red in that sunset. Reporting in studio, meteorologist Diane Phillips.